To audiences, it's always seemed like Bachelor host Chris Harrison is chummy with pretty much everyone who passes through the Bachelor mansion. This is especially the case for the leads of The Bachelor and The Bachelorette, since Harrison gets to know them pretty well over all those weeks of filming. While this holds true for most of the beloved Bachelors and Bachelorettes over the years, Harrison may not be quite as easygoing as he seems. It turns out he does have a limit. Considering just how long The Bachelor has been on the air, it's kind of surprising that there's only one one Bachelor Harrison didn't click with. In an interview with Us Weekly, Harrison dished on the one Bachelor he couldn't get along with, admitting, "...really, the only one I think I had a hard time getting along with was Charlie O'Connell back in the day." Charlie O'Connell is the brother of actor Jerry O'Connell, and he starred in The Bachelor's seventh season back in 2005. Harrison was also quick to explain that he had no beef with the one-time Bachelor, saying, "...he admitted he was going through some issues with himself at the time. We didn't dislike each other at all. It just didn't blend. That's bound to happen after 18 years and dozens of people. You get along with some better than others." This isn't the first time that Harrison has dished on the tension between him and O'Connell. In a 2017 appearance on Live with Kelly, Harrison talked about the strained relationship between him and the former Bachelor, saying, "...so here's the thing. After 15 years, 30-some-odd people that have been through this show, there are people I get along with better than others." Charlie and I, he was just East Coast, me, Southern kid. Yeah. We just, it was like oil and water. We just didn't get along. Even back then, Harrison was adamant about not disliking the reality star. Uh, he was at a difficult point in his life, yeah, a little yeah, tumultuous. Yeah. yeah. Um, he's come back from that, thankfully, but yeah, we just didn't really spend any time together. O'Connell's personal life remained tumultuous even after his Bachelor season wrapped. He gave his final rose to Sarah Bryce, along with a promise ring. The couple dated on and off, breaking up in 2007 before getting back together the following year. On 2009's The Bachelor, The Women Tell All, Bryce revealed that O'Connell's excessive drinking led to their breakup. According to Reality TV World, she explained, "...a lot of it had to do with a little bit of the drinking that he was doing, and I kind of didn't really appreciate it and respond well to it." While they seemed happy at the time, with O'Connell saying he hadn't had a drink in two years, the couple broke up for good in 2010. O'Connell told People, "...I think it was a mutual breakup. The thing is that we dated for five years, and we're just arguing over the same things and stuff like that. And then eventually, you've got to go your separate ways." Things seem to be going better for O'Connell more recently. In 2018, he married Playboy playmate Anna Sophia Berglund, according to People magazine. Fortunately, there's no tension on the current season of The Bachelor. Harrison seems to be getting along much better with season lead Peter Weber. What we look for is story. You know, you're looking for a good story. Weber certainly has a story that audiences are already invested in after having had his heart broken on the last season of The Bachelorette by Hannah Brown. He's that all-American guy next door. He has these great parents who have this great example of what love is. And, you know, he's a pilot. He makes money. He's got it all. He just yeah. he needs the woman. Harrison also gushed about this season's Bachelor to Us Weekly, saying, "...he's that guy that the show is based on. He's the guy that seemingly has everything. Good-looking, good career, sweet. He has this amazing family. He just hasn't fallen in love yet." Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.